Israel is turning itself into an apartheid state. It used to be the case that the word apartheid was never used with Israel. In order to discredit the apartheid label, the lobby has launched a campaign to try to co-opt black South Africans. Black South Africans who were apartheid activists, who were brought to Israel, saw the reality, came home angry at the US. They felt lied to. They felt that there, someone had tried to steal their narrative. This is an effective tool. Bringing these black South African, former BDS activists, now Israel supporters to American campuses. During his volunteership, Tony learned that the Israel Project has been developing a strategy called Stop Stealing My Apartheid. The plan is to feed articles written by black South Africans into the American media, claiming that BDS has distorted their history. If you're disgusted by segregation in this country, if you're disgusted by South African apartheid, then you should also be disgusted by Israeli apartheid. Another workshop was addressed by Israeli diplomats from consulates in the US. Black Lives Matter had attracted particular criticism after voicing support for the BDS movement. It appears that Israel's diplomats may be trying to challenge the apartheid label by canvassing support amongst African Americans. The major problem of Israel is with the young generation of the black community. Black Lives Matter starts there. I had last week a, a, a dinner, sit down dinner at my house with some of the people which are considered the leadership of the black community. And it's very important to people. They can be part of our uh, doing an activity. Pro Israel groups are trying to cultivate a new generation of black leaders that is pro-Israel by bringing them to APEC conferences on all expenses paid trip. For black freedom, that also sees black freedom as situated in a, in a larger context. In 2014, Israel launched the siege of Gaza. In the same summer, police in Ferguson killed Mike Brown and Ferguson rose up. And on the news at night, there would be both the latest out of Gaza and the latest out of Ferguson. There was solidarity that was expressed online with the Ferguson uprising. There were Palestinians who took to Twitter to cheer on the rebels of Ferguson and explain how to deal with tear gas. Israel's diplomats have responded by evoking the legacy of Martin Luther King, claiming that the campaign for Palestinian civil rights bears no resemblance to the civil rights movement in America. Dr. Clarice Jones, who wrote the draft speech for Martin Luther King, I had a dream. He was his lawyer, he was his close friend. He was somebody that I reached out to. He became a very close and personal friend. Because of that relationship, we published three articles in the Huffington Post explaining why their agenda was hijacked. And Martin Luther King will turn in his grave if he saw the anti-Israel tendencies or the policies that are starting to emerge in Black Lives Matter. There's something on one hand laughable about it, but there's something also really insidious about this. You're using the credibility of a freedom struggle to try to oppose another freedom struggle. And I think that that's appalling. Fellowship program run by a conservative think tank called the Hoover Institution. The whole fellowship is described as like, you guys are being like foot soldiers and conservative. This is actually the first foot soldier activity that I think is important to do. Tony, what's your connection to the conspiracy that we're all part of? Yeah, the Israel Project. So you can't uh... not come. Their plan is to disrupt the National Conference of Students for Justice in Palestine. 
Marshall said that the pro-Israel protest had been poorly planned. It's a very fly-by-the-pants procedure. Yeah. There's basically just like no Apollo coming in the like, look, there are these jihadis who basically yeah. support suicide bombing, and they're at a campus, and you have to stop them. So, a chance to shout at Arabs? As we're leaving, we mentioned to our boss yesterday that we're going. She's like, oh, yeah, that's mandatory. You need to go. While they've been told they have to take part in the protest, not everyone on the bus is convinced it's good for their reputation. Do you know what my worst nightmare is? I'm actually not kidding. It's a photo of Dion and I together. And we're just like clearly identifiable. And they're like, oh, who are these like traitors who sold out to the Jewish conspiracy for money? I'm like, we did. We cost $50,000 plus benefits.